The Earth is periodically hit by ionizing radiation, which is radiation that carries enough energy to detach electrons from molecules. According to astrophysicists, these events come mainly in the form of solar flares from our Sun, and also from interstellar supernova and gamma ray bursts. Now, we definitively know that supernova have impacted our planet in the past. Scientists are still trying to figure out, though, exactly what that meant for Earth's inhabitants at the time. One scientific team thinks that a supernova 2.6 million years ago might have affected our early ancestors, and it might have even impacted whether or not they walked on two legs. We'll explain the details next. It's bloody science. Supernova are the explosive end stages of massive stars in our universe. They've long caught the attention of geologists here on our planet because they might explain past extinction events. A 2018 study from the University of Kansas suggests that 2.6 million years ago, cosmic rays from at least one supernova 150 light years away hit the atmosphere of our prehistoric Earth. Iron 60 isotopes, a telltale footprint left behind by supernova, was found in ancient seabed deposits that start 8 million years ago and peak 2.6 million years ago. The team thinks it's even possible that a chain of supernova might have hit the Earth over that entire time frame. As energy from the supernova spread Iron 60 across our planet, it also caused unstable subatomic particles called muons to bathe Earth, causing mutations and cancers in animals living at the time. Muons are already passing through us as we speak, but cosmic rays increase the dosage by several hundredfold. The geological record corroborates this, showing that the muon flux coincided with the extinction of 36% of all aquatic animals living in coastal waters. Interestingly, cosmic rays can also have more subtle effects on our environment and in turn could have affected human evolution. Last month, those researchers published a new study, digging into that 2.6 million year old supernova. Assuming that explosion in space occurred 50 parsecs away, which is about 160 light years, the team thinks cosmic rays would have hit the Earth about 100 years after anything living on the surface would have seen the explosion. In addition to depleting the ozone layer, cosmic rays in the atmosphere would have probably increased ionization by about 50 times. This increase in free electrons in the air would have peaked in the troposphere, which is the lowest level of the atmosphere that extends from the Earth's surface to about 4 miles up. Now obviously no one was there to see it, but scientists do think this would have had significant consequences for that layer of the atmosphere, including an increase in cloud-to-ground lightning. Though it's still debated in the scientific community, it has been thought in recent years that so-called electron avalanches in the atmosphere are one initiator of lightning. It's a complex process, but it boils down to free electrons colliding with other atoms, knocking off other electrons, setting off a cascading effect, and so on. With increased ionization in the atmosphere, it would have been easier to kick off more electron avalanches than normal. This matters because at present day, when we exclude human activity, lightning is the main initiator of wildfires worldwide. So what's this mean? Well, the hypothesis of the chain of events, of supernova to lightning to wildfires, is supported by the soot and sediment record. It shows that an increase in the number of global fires happened in the same window when the supernova likely occurred. This would have affected anything living on the Earth at that time, including their habitats. Scientists think that an increase in wildfires was responsible for the global conversion of forest to savanna during that period. Now, that matters because fauna conversion is a central hypothesis for why lower hominids evolved to bipedalism from walking on four feet. The evolution would have worked something like this. Earliest hominids likely spent most of their time in trees and forest ecozones. Deforested savanna areas would have had less vegetation and would have required them to walk from tree to tree. They would have also benefited by standing on two legs to see over tall grass to watch for predators. Eventually this led to these proto-humans, who once lived in forested zones, to walking upright. It's thought that the Great Rift Valley in East Africa could have been a hotspot for this evolution, as that area has been a rich source of hominid fossils. While supernova-induced lightning storms do sound alarming, the Kansas team doesn't think we should freak out about it happening again. The closest star capable of going supernova in the next million years or so is Betelgeuse, which is about 200 parsecs from Earth. That, the authors say, is too far from us to have near the same effects as the supernova event 2.6 million years ago. 
This wraps up our discussion of that study, but for more information, see the video description. As you may have seen, we're a new channel, and we plan on covering things like this several times a week. We started this because we noticed a lack of discussion of recent scientific papers in the media and on YouTube specifically. So, subscribe to join the party, and thanks for your support!